All right, would you say you are risking reliability with the power figures you are pushing? Gen genuinely curious if you have seen anything while testing your higher power tunes for the B9 3.0T. I and mean, I'll just say right off the bat, you're concerned if you're concerned about reliability, imagine how concerned we are, yeah. you know. So yeah. you have one car and if if you damage the engine, it's going to be very bad. But we have uh, hundreds and hundreds B9 3.0T customers. I think we may be well into the thousands now. Yeah. And imagine if, you know, we blew 50 motors or 100 motors, which actually one of our competitors has done in the past. That's the kind of thing that could put a company out of business. And yeah, or, just, or just destroy your reputation for... It you know. certainly hurt your reputation. So we are, we are concerned about reliability even before you are, before you even know about it, because that's part of our engineering process and testing process. There have been cases on tunes we've developed where we have blown the factory motor during the, the tuning process. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've learned from that and made adjustments on that. Uh, it, it, it cost us probably like $80,000 by the time it was all said and done. So it's funny. We try not to uh, do that very often, but. Then that, to be clear, that wasn't, we have not yet seen any weakness on the three liter. For the B9, uh, we, we, have not, we have not, um, we have not seen any problem with any of our in-house cars or any of our customer cars. Yep. Um, we we maintain all the factory safety systems. They're all in place, um, and you know there's there's more than enough time on our tunes and, and these motors and various conditions and hot and cold. You name it. That uh, there is no reliability risk. Certainly not that we know of. Yep. And uh, if, if the if, power if, figures we are pushing are safe. Yeah. If if anything seems sketchy, we're not going to release it. Yeah. Yeah. To clarify. Any failure we've had has been on an internal production file, not anything. Right. On, on, <laughs> any, on any of the issues we have, we're talking about here has been on development. Uh, I, I mean, we, we still, uh, so the, the, where this has been, the, yeah. talk about this open, is the biggest area we've had issued, the biggest application is in the B8.3.0T world. So uh, with, with our DASA tuning, with our B9.3.0 tuning, zero, even cases or incidents of even anyone accusing us of anything. Yep. In the B8 3.0T world, those motors are aging and they're producing a ton of power and the systems are being pushed, you know, more than more than double what the factory yeah, uh, yeah. rated. And there have been lots of blown motors. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's been blown motors on stock tunes, there's been blown motors on competitor tunes, and we've had blown motors on our tunes. Again, for B8 3.0T. Uh, last year, we compiled uh, a list of about 15 customers who had problems, in, which was like all of them that we could, that we could find. find. Yep. And we, we went through and analyzed every single one of those cases. In one case, we even paid to ship the customer's motor here. Yep, in every case, we were, we, were, we were able to determine the root cause of failure, and it was nothing related to our products or tuning. Yep. Um, yeah, and it was a gamut of things. We and we talk about it a lot. It was fuel injectors. It was uh, intercooler pores leaking. It mm -hmm. was high pressure fuel pump installation issues. Yeah. It was catalyst, uh, high flow cats, uh, catalyst uh, uh, failures. Cats melted. People, people were continuing to drive yeah. on with with a compromise. So we, we created an, a a detailed root cause analysis for every one of those, and I think it was fourteen or fifteen cases. Yeah. And again, none none were related to our team. We were being accused of it. Um, and and subsequently, we, we made no changes to any of our tuning. And no, I mean that whole thing. That whole thing's kind of like blown over. Yeah. Now now it's onto the still the, the, the cylinder five all DA thing. And again, it's we, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, and it's it's one of these things like there's the piston the, ring. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, these are you know highly strong setups on some that are having issues. And the, the other issue on on B eight in particular, the three liter supercharged motor is we don't necessarily have control over what you're running for. Uh, uh, pulley ratios. We allow for a fairly mm -hmm. high pulley ratio in that tune. Um, you know, we we could, I guess, kneecap it and force you to run a lower pulley ratio. But you know, that's not, I think, what the market's looking for. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those things. Though, if you're going to run a crazy pulley ratio and maybe have questionable supporting mods or you know some other component failing, yeah. it, it, it doesn't take much. Bottom line, BA on 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 BA three point T, there are maintenance. And aging and aging issues. Just, yeah. So you need to do your maintenance. You need to replace the injectors. If you're going to start tuning a motor, I would seriously recommend 
uh, inspecting the cooling system, pressure test the intercoolers, replace them if, if you if you can, and then replace your injectors. Replacing the injectors is good. And then check your cats, make sure they're they're healthy, that they're not melted. Factory catalytic converters on the BA 3.0T just need to be replaced a lot more often. Uh, and then and then start tuning. On B9 3.0T, just stick to our product recommendations, stay within our 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 yeah. product universe and you won't have any problems. Thus far we've had yeah. no no issues mm-hmm. like that.